been tweeting some. She works for the Daily Mail, and she been put some stuff out there. And I'm like, Ruth, none of us are going to touch when you're when you guys are putting pictures of and video of of the family. Like, none of us are going to touch that. We think that you you should leave them alone. So you know, it was absurd for them to call us out for that. But I appreciate you guys, you know, coming to get our back on that. Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, and and look, man. I mean, the, the reality is a case like this. You know, as bad as I feel for for Asa, I mean, there, there's there's a reality that her husband is potentially a fucking serial killer, man. I mean, that that's that's like they're victims, just like you know other victims, obviously in a massively different way. You know, but it's like I yeah, talk no, about it on my pod all the time, man. I'm like, the parents of Anthony Garcia and his brother and sister are fucking victims. It's it's different. You know, obviously they're still alive. Obviously, it's a much different type of victimization, but it's a victimization nonetheless because it uproots everything in your life. Right. You know, I mean, the reality is she's not going to like she'd be crazy to stay there. Like she's going to live in that fucking house. You got to put that thing on the fucking market and see if you can sell it and get the fuck out of there. You know, I mean, it's not a it's not a great situation, but it's a, it's the reality of it. You, you know, I mean, and no one's going to leave her alone. Like, you know, the, the child is a different story because it's like that. No, one, you, you couldn't have anybody better than Carrie Ross and on to like talk about that shit. And Carrie has taken it upon herself to go out and, and give us incredible information about that. Well, like she's an advocate for her. Like totally, man. And, and but beyond that, she she's willing to talk about things, you know, and, and only she can make that decision. And she's going to give us shit that none of us will ever know because none of us have ever lived that. You know what I mean? Like I wrote a long tweet, like somebody was giving her shit, like saying, Oh, you're fucking milking off. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, she's out there fucking spitting truth and, and like giving us insight into things that we would never know without her having the, the, you know, the bravery and the courage to come forward and talk about, you know, I mean, no one wants to be the, the kid of a serial killer, you know, no one's, no one's signing up for that. Like that, that's not something that people are like, Oh, Sign me up. Oh yeah. My, my dad is going to be a infamous serial killer. Yeah. That I, I'd love to have that happen to me. That would be fucking awesome. Like no one does that. No one feels like that. So for her to come forward and, and really share her story, the tragic story of, of what, what was her life and like the trauma she survived, you know, I mean, I like, I love her. I'm super appreciative. Uh, her, so man. brave. And there's how many people in this world that can have that experience and to, to give that insight. There's not, Many and for her to to be helping. I'm saying there's like you can count them. Like my tweet, I think was like you can count it on one finger the amount of people that are willing to do that. Like who, you know, like Gacy has a son. I never fucking heard from this guy. Like we, like Darren and I were like, should we try to find Gacy's son? And we're like, well, what happens if he was shielded his entire life and like you know from the fact that Gacy was his father, like you know his mom, because this like Gacy had bio kids before he was arrested in Waterloo. And then is the minute he's arrested, his first wife, Marilyn did exactly what Asa did fucking filed for divorce and fucking divorced him immediately. And the kids were super small. So like, you know, there has to be a thought like, all right, well, I'm going to shield my kid. I'm going to change his last name. And my kid's never going to know who the fuck his father was. I'm going to tell him that he died, you know, some shit. And like, and Darren and I are like, well, do I want to be, the guy who's telling this kid that his father was Gacy. I'm like, no, I, I really don't. So we didn't, we didn't follow up on it. You know what I right. mean? I mean, he might know he probably does know, but maybe not, you know, but I wasn't be the guy who was going to inform him right. if that was the case, you know, and she, not only is she out there, you know, telling, giving the insight, but she's out there. She's a fierce advocate for victims. She's out there missing persons. Like I just, I hope people can have some grace for her and for Asa and just realize like, this is like she said, there's a before and an after when you find this out and it's never the same. You're never, it's never the same after that. There's never a point where it's like, all right, well, we're back to normal. There's the before and the after and she's just amazing. So uh, she is, man. She is. I'm a huge fan.